In this updated tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at some tips for split screening videos. This is where you have one or more videos on the screen at the same time. In this tutorial, we'll focus on split screening when you maintain the aspect ratio of the videos. For example, the clips we're focusing on in this tutorial are all shot in 16 by 9, and we're going to put them on the screen, maintaining the full video at a smaller size, but at the same ratio. In part two, we're going to show you the more complicated issue when you can't keep the ratio of the video in its original format. So what we'd like to do is take some clips. I'll take the one of this Jeep and drag it down to track one. And then we'll, we will add another video of some cyclists on two. And let's do another one rafting on track three and a different scene for cyclists on track four. Now what we discover is in PowerDirector, unlike other video editors, NLE editors, the highest track wins. So the video that is on the highest number track or the lowest track will overwrite everything above it vertically. And so what we'll need to do is we'll need to resize each of these to share the screen. The best way to do that, first of all, is to have some guidelines so you can place them on the screen in an orderly way. Now, if you go to your gear at the top, you have some settings that you can make default for every project. If I click on display, I have a middle that says grid lines and TV safe zone. My safe zone, it gives me a margin, and you'll see that in a moment, uh, that I might want to keep my videos within. And the grid lines can be all the way from none to a 10 by 10. So we can turn each of these on for all projects. If I don't want to do that, I'll cancel. I can simply click, right click in my preview screen, and I can turn it on for this project only. So I'm going to turn on my safe zone. I'll right click again and I'll turn my grid lines on. I'm going to use a two by two, which will give me four quadrants. Now, if I'm going to start doing this, if I have some items on the screen, I want to start with the bottom because that's the top layer. I'll see the effects there. So I click on my first one. I can drag on any of the four corners. It will proportionately shrink to one fourth of the screen. If I want to stay within the grid lines, I can move it in, but notice I'm going to lose a little extra space here to keep it proportionally accurate. Then I go to the next one above it, which happens to be the raft picture. I'll do the same there, and I'll drag down the other, other quadrant over there. I can go back. It looks like I missed a little bit here. Now they're lined up fine. Let's go up one more layer. We'll go to the cyclists and we'll move them over on the lower left quadrant and we'll move it up to here try to snap to the grid line to keep the proportion approximately correct and then we'll do the last one which is pretty simple we just follow the same procedure a fourth time and then move our grid lines down and there we go I'm going to turn on an audio and then we're going to go ahead and play this and you can see all four at the same time. Now, those are some considerations when you're splitting the screen, keeping the videos at their full size, uh, even though they don't have the full screen and the normal proportions. It's the easiest way to do it. In the next tutorial, we're going to show you how to do it when you can't use the entire video in its original format.